Hello, and this is the third episode of our series on how does learning actually happen. But for this third episode, as well as the fourth episode, we are going to be focusing on how learning takes place in the adolescent brain. So, this means that in the adolescent stage, there are certain changes which happen in the human body as well as in the brain. And that is what we need to look at to see how can we help children deal with the adolescent changes which are happening and still ensure that good learning is happening. This is the third episode. Do stay with me. Watch till the end because we will be giving some solutions of first understanding this adolescent brain and then working out something which can help us as teachers as well as as parents. So, first of all, there is this idea of what is adult capabilities. Because what is happening when they become adolescents, we say you are not a child. And they are also not adults, really. But there is this idea about an adult capable capability, which is psychology and neuroscience, se hume milti hai, where the adults are actually thinking and planning in a way which is very different from children as well as from adolescents. This kind of planning and this kind of learning includes focus, self-control, flexibility of thought, and so on. So. The together, all these things are also known as, this is a beautiful word called executive function, ya ke self-regulation. NEP is also calling out self-regulated learning, jisko ki hum executive function ke shabdo se samaj sakte hai. And so this can be developed in the adolescence, not before that. And so therefore, this episode and the next one is going to talk about how do we develop self-regulation and executive function in young adults? Like I said, self-regulation means what? You draw about the right skills at the right time. We should manage our responses to the world's response. It's not that we have behaved impulsively. So in the brain, self-regulation is intentional and automatic. And which is why the diagram is showing you that whenever something hits your old brain, iske baare mein humne baat ki hai, link de rakhi upar, which is known as the lizard brain, then it is an automatic response. A uh, not thought about response. Fat se hum kuch kar dete hai. But then there is an intentional response, which is actually the processing which happens in the new brain. In dono mein balance kaise laya jai, that is the whole idea about executive function. Now, automatic self-regulation, like I said, is a flight, fight, freeze response. Joki baki sari animal ke dunia mein hume dikti hai. And we have spoken about this in the lizard or the old brain. Whereas, the intentional self-regulated response is known as a measured response. Jo hum uske baare mein sochte hai. Us information ko hum working memory mein process karte hai. And then we respond. And that is what is self-regulation which we have to teach our young adults. I like to give the analogy of an air traffic controller which is in airports. Mein hota hai, okay? Because everything about education function is about planning, focusing attention, remembering all the instructions and multiple things we have to do. Multitasking, multitasking multitasking to nahi, but multiple tasks successfully we should be able to do. And therefore, just like the person who is sitting in the air traffic control has to manage safe arrivals and departures of all kind of flights and filter all the distractions, prioritize who's coming in first, etc. and achieve the goal. Similarly, the executive function also teaches you to do the same thing. By the way, IC814, about Khandahar, fascinating and gripping series on the Netflix. So, what are the specific skills that help us develop executive function in young adults or adolescents? Teen cheeze dhyan mein rakhna hai. One is developing the working memory, which is just behind the forehead. Two, developing mental flexibility. Ye nahi ki rigid ho gaye, you know, so the flexibility will come by working between the lizard brain and the new brain, as well as, of course, self control. What is working memory? The ability to hold information and to process it. Working memory ko hum CPU bhi kehte hai, because that is the processing unit in your brain, also known as the new brain, jaha working memory sthir hai. All right. Mental flexibility, the capacity which is I am able to change to the demands of my life, set the priorities, build perspectives, be open to change, and so on. 
द थर्ड फैक्टर देयर इज सेल्फ कंट्रोल दैट मींस हम अपने थॉट्स को जरा मास्टर कर लें इंपल्सिव बिहेवियर को कंट्रोल कर लें सो दैट वी रेजिस्ट टेंपटेशंस प्लेंटी ऑफ ऑफ टेंपटेशंस इन डिस्ट्रैक्शन इन टुडेस वर्ल्ड ऑफ सोशल मीडिया एंड द यंग एडल्ट्स व्हाई देम एवरीबॉडी इज हुक्ड टू इट ओके एंड देयरफॉर हाउ डू वी पॉज बिफोर एक्टिंग दीस आर द थ्री थिंग्स दैट मेक अप द एग्जीक्यूटिव फंक्शन इनको हम कैसे डेवलप कर सकते हैं what do we need to do number 1 in the working memory keep it free of rote memorization usme limited space hoti hai as i have been saying through so many episodes that the working memory has limited space if you cram a lot of rote memorization facts into it it will not be able to process new information which is coming to it so keep it free so that rational thought can be developed and emotional response doesn't happen most of the time also i would suggest very strongly all of you teachers all this which i am doing with you through these videos we need to do that with children directly as well tell them about all these brain facts and tell them that your reason must conquer your emotion वैसे भी the head is above the heart okay this should be on top that is what we need to talk to them about the working memory that is the place for processing new stimulus during learning to isko free rakhe This is where the executive function is actually developed. All right. Just again, the second factor that was about working memory. Second thing is mental flexibility. What does that mean? We know by now that we have two brains: the new brain and the lizard brain. New brain is the cognitive brain, which is processing information. Old brain or lizard brain is the emotional brain, जो फटाक से react कर देता है. So we also know this idea about high road and low road. All right. so high road and low road are responses of the emotional brain bhag lo matlab participate ya bhag lo bhag jao that is your emotional response but the high road is taken when you are actually using the working memory using the higher road for cognitive thinking and this is what is critical to achieving self regulation all right the low road is taken when there is a flight fight freeze response so low road is an emotional response high road is a cognitive response mental flexibility it helps us to sustain and shift attention alag alag situations ke liye hame kaise alag alag respond karna hai same kind of response cannot be working with different situations that we encounter in life ye jo flexibility hai this is developed by taking the high road and processing the information now all these three ideas need to be brought together working memory mental flexibility and self control so working memory has to be kept free so that the high road is taken classrooms and homes also my dear parents should be free of failure free of threat punishment even boredom otherwise low road le lenge bachche then learners should also be taught about the strategies for building this mental flexibility okay and teachers and all other adults in the child's life should also practice self control hum bhi to by demonstration dikhaye what is self control how do you manage impulsive behavior that is the only hope model it all the time for the children to follow now this development of the executive function it happens we're not born with it certainly but it continues from infancy to childhood to adulthood but adults actually will play a very critical role in supporting or scaffolding the development of these skills first by helping the children second by modeling themselves third by checking and correcting wherever possible giving them tasks to do on their own stepping back letting them do things independently galtiyan karte hain to kar le de that is the way they will learn because we we need to develop the executive function q because that is what teaches us goal setting making plans adjusting the plans when they don't go right and also managing our frustration because life mein frustration to hoti hi hai how do you manage and how you how you don't become despondent about it that is what executive function teaches us but remember all this is good but learning will also happen with constant practice and loads and loads of love in the both the school as well as the home so do that stay with us do like subscribe to our channel and share for share for free. the fourth episode will give study skills for adolescents which is developed through the executive function Thank you for watching